All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought I would do a quick unboxing of the new exhaust for the Subi. I thought I would just do this really, really quick, and also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, at uh, Random Rides, uh, I asked you guys to leave some questions, and if you guys had any other questions, I thought I'd do like a quick Q&A and stuff too while doing this unboxing, and uh, yeah, I mean, it finally warmed up a little bit. It's like 60 degrees now, and the main reason I'm wanting to do this unboxing is because this big box I don't think is actually going to fit inside the Subi, and I figured that I would actually put it in pieces and take it in pieces to Bradley's shop to actually install it. It's, I'm actually going to be installing it this weekend, so uh, yeah, finally going to have a little bit of tone. I don't think it's going to be too loud, but um, let's get this unboxing done. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, this exhaust is the NVIDIA R400. It's a big freaking box. Alrighty guys, well there it is, NVIDIA R400. Look at the freaking size of this pipe. Three inch. Damn them pipes. This one sounds so good. It does have a resonator on it. I just hope that doesn't make it too quiet. But I do know that once I actually go stage two and go catless, um, that's why I went with this exhaust is because I know that if I didn't go with some kind of muffled, it was gonna just be way, way, way too loud. So that's why I went with this. But welds are freaking amazing. Can't ever go wrong with NVIDIA, but this is definitely the most expensive cat back I've ever got. But yeah, so the wide pipe. I think this part right here is so cool. So you'd actually see this out the back. Big three inch boy. It's like some freaking ape hangers. <laughs> like on a Harley. <laughs> Pretty cool. And for the part that mo matters the most, these tips. Woo, boy! Woo! Look at them tits, boy! Those titanium tips. NVIDIA on the side. Dude, this exhaust is gonna look so badass. It's just got NVIDIA all over it. On here. Two. But tell me that is not a cool freaking muffler setup. Big four inch tips. Massive. Blue, burnt blue. That thing is gonna look so sick. I cannot wait. But yeah, but I, I went with the more like I love how it's individual mufflers for each tip, but I just know that I wanted it a little bit muffled um, just because I know that it's gonna be stupid loud if I don't have some kind of muffle, muffler or resonator or something like that just to, I don't know, bring it down a notch just because it is gonna be like stupid loud. So, super, super excited. 
beautiful exhaust though. I am going to be installing this thing on uh, on Friday, so you guys should probably have a, have a video like either Saturday or Sunday or something like that, so of how it sounds. I'm not expecting it to be loud at all, like at all. Um, I just I just know that I just want a little bit of a tone, and this will just get me ready for whenever I actually going to start doing like stage two and some big power mods. So that's the exhaust. Now let's uh, get into this Q and A. I know it's backwards, but <clears throat> yeah, dude, these tips are gonna look freaking nuts. So, so sick. Alrighty, guys. So that's what I actually I had to lay my seat back too, just to get all that stuff to fit. But there is no way that I was gonna get that box. If you guys can even see it, oh, it's laying down. That box in the back of my car. Hell no, but that'll get me over to Bradley's. And I also I did get a uh, Grim Speed. Um, it's well, I don't want to take it out, but it's a three to one, or it's a two and a half to three uh, from stock downpipe to a three inch exhaust adapter too. So if you are actually wanting to do this and only have the stock downpipe, you will need to get an adapter to get this exhaust to fit without an exhaust leak too. Oh. Oh. Alrighty guys. So, <coughs> for the, uh, all the Instagram questions and stuff that you guys sent out, I will be going ahead and answer those for you real quick. I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible. Um, a lot of like some of the questions I've already answered before but uh, maybe you guys didn't see the videos but like one of the questions brand Brandon your I hope I'm saying your name right dude uh, why a WRX and not an STI I did make a video and I went on like a full rant of why I bought a WRX instead of an STI if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link at the top of this if you guys want to go look at that and this biggest point is uh, I didn't want to get a EJ25 man the uh, ring lamp failure kind of scared me away from it because I did want an STI before the WRX and I just researched and researched and researched and the FA20 and the WRX makes more power for less money and it's more reliable so and the STI is about seven about seven thousand dollars more um, I am Cruised, cruised. I am cruised. Stock Genesis or a Subaru? If you guys didn't know, um, I bought or I previously owned a, a 2013 Genesis Coupe. It was a 3.8 R spec. And you're asking a stock Genesis or a Subaru? A stock 2.0 or a stock 3.8? A Subaru WRX or an STI? I don't. There's such a wide, vast variety of um, different specs but if I was gonna say like a stock 3.8 Genesis or a stock Subaru WRX or STI well I went from a modded Genesis Coupe 3.8 R spec to a WRX so Subaru man like I felt like I kind of kind of got bored and the amount of money it takes to make big power out of the uh, the Genesis, it just really wasn't worth it to me to take the chance and end up blowing my motor up anyways. So, but I mean that's that's what you always get. You always got to take those chances. But I was just I, I had the car for a while, and you guys also got to understand I've owned like 15 cars before before you guys even seen any of my YouTube stuff. So like I flip cars quite often, and. I get bored with cars quite often, but this is a car that I actually want to keep for a really long time, so I'm really happy with it. Connor.wrx, what's your goals as far as power? Um, stage two, stage three, um, E85, I'm hoping probably between the 360 to 390 wheel 
horsepower. Um, so it's uh, probably around four, probably around 450 to the crank, I guess, if you wanted to, to get into that. Um, but yeah, that's close to the 400 wheel would be pretty dope. Um, 350, 350 to 400. I guess for it because I daily drive my car too so something nice and fun and uh, something that I'm actually able to still daily drive and have a lot of fun in since uh, uh, it is my daily and I mainly drive uh, through the city so it'd be nice to still have that that low end torque and stuff like that so Kenny Zaidner would you come down to Florida at all specifically Miami we can race my Jenny Coop and you and your Subi. <laughs> um, guys, the, the Genesis 3.8 is definitely faster than a stock WRX, guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, it'd still be fun to, to race a Jenny. Um, but, I mean, it would beat it for now. For now. Once I once I go stage two and stuff, um, there there's no way. Especially off the line. But um, when I come down to Florida, I'm actually going to Florida in a couple months. So, um... I, it is more of like a family vacation that I'm going on, so I'm not going to be filming. I'm not going to be vlogging. Um, so, I mean, I'd probably be posting like pics on like Instagram and stuff. So just follow me on Instagram. But uh, to Miami, I'm, we're actually, we're going to be fairly close to Miami, but um, I'm, I doubt I'm going to actually be going out and like sightseeing for like cars and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you guys see me out there, cool. Say what's up, David Tolman. One, uh, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. Um, I don't know. Do I look older or younger? You guys tell me. Um, Drew Powers underscore three. Are you going to make the WRX more of a track car or a stance car? Um, I would like to say more of like in between. I'm I'm really into like aesthetics. If you guys watch my other build, um, so I'm not really into stance. Unless I would like get bags, but I'm I'm definitely getting coils. So I guess it would be more of like a track car because I'm going to be doing like suspension and stuff like that. But I don't track my car, but I think it would be really fun to get into. So I guess more track car than stance car because when you go stance, like I don't know, I don't even know how people drive their cars like that unless they're on air. So but static, that's static life, man. I mean, props to you, you guys. You guys are doing something crazy and super ballsy, but props, props. Use this video and put it in the comments. What is something that I could do uh, out of every single video, like something either weird or funny or crazy or something like that, something that maybe doesn't have to do with the car or does, uh, like say in this video I have to climb that tree, just in general, like a just to give it an example, uh, I gotta go climb that tree, or I gotta go, uh, I, I don't know, just think of things that I can put in every single video, just to try to spice it up, to give you guys like a laugh or something like that too, on top of the other stuff that I do too, so, um, yeah, I know this video was super long, and it was kind of boring, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace!